EKU broke out the brooms yesterday as they completed a three-game sweep of Oakland University over the weekend. Saturday was soggy and a little chilly, but the Colonels' bats warmed up late and used a four-run seventh inning highlighted by freshman Christian Lucio's two-RBI single through the right side to help Eastern Kentucky reclaim the lead as they would go on to an 11-6 victory. Nick Laster picked up the win in Game 1, coming out of the bullpen and tossing one and two-thirds innings of hitless baseball. The weather warmed up a little bit on Sunday, and Eastern's bats got even hotter. EKU racked up 14 hits, half of which were for extra bases and none of them doubles. Lucio, Brent Lovell, and Ryland Kerr, who you see rounding second, would all hit triples. Nick Howey and Will Johnson both left the yard in the Colonel's six-run fifth inning, while A.J. Lewis and Chris Boatsway each hit solo jobbies in the sixth and seventh as Eastern exploded for 16 runs. Caven Brown remained undefeated, logging his fourth win of the season in Game 2. He went six strong innings, scattering eight hits while striking out six. Both teams lit up the scoreboard for a combined total of 40 hits in the first two games, but could only manage seven between them in the finale. Two of EKU's three hits would come off the bats of Lucio and Boatsway, and both cleared the fence, which would be the difference makers as the Colonels held on for a 2-1 victory. Aaron Oceanbine came out of the bullpen to log his first win of the season, throwing three and one-third shutout innings. He gave up one hit while striking out five. So EKU will look to keep it rolling on Wednesday when they welcome in Kentucky State. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.